Oh my god, Stephanie. Fire. 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 Paul. Is Anna with you? Turn on the light. Cat balls. Another cat ball. Oh, oh. 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 I'm not very smart, am I? <laughs> if a flashlight comes on. <laughs> <I did it. laughs> Liar. <gasps> this gorgeous historic home is known as the Greyhound Manor, named after the retired racing greyhounds that the current owners adopt. It was built in about 1860 by the Sicking family. Over the years, it has been in many other families' hands. However, the Cook family owned it for 91 years and five generations. The Fultons purchased it in 2017 and spent a long two and a half years restoring it. We were fortunate to have the Dearborn County historian, Jenny, with us as she knows the history better than any. With such a rich and long history, who communicated that night and did we help them? Hey lovelies, welcome back to our channel, Get Spooky Society. We're back in Greensville, Indiana, at a place that I have drooled over ever since I came to Greendale and to Christine and John's house with Dick. We are at the Sicking Bannister Cook Home, aka the Greyhound Manor. So anybody from around this area knows the Greyhound Manor. They have lots of greyhounds that they have adopted. So, Dale, I can't wait to get started. It's going to be so awesome. It's going to be amazing. So, it's time to get, get spooky. spooky. Um, crap, crap ball. A cat ball. Crap ball. Crap ball. Yeah. Cat balls. Another cat ball. Oh, wow. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. I told you that. Yep. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, cap ball again. Thank you. I'm taking it over to Falk. It did. You want to hide under the steps? <laughs> it's creepy under there. <laughs> oh, is there under there? Oh, yes. That's the entrance. Cap ball. Yeah. Thank you. I knew. I if we want to put one under the step. Yeah. Do we yeah. have them all out? Yeah. No, there's two more. There's three more, actually. And I can put this on. Yeah. Thank you so much. I knew there was somebody going to come down that steps. I think he's sitting there. A kid sitting there or something. Yep. That's what I was thinking. I wonder if we yes. want a flashlight. Where are all the flashlights? Oh, no, that's a light. Where are okay. all the flashlights? There's one on the piano and one on the mantle. Okay, I don't think maybe we put the one on the mantle on the steps. This to the battery pack, but it's not. Um, Hi, how are you tonight? I don't know when the coast is on. Thank you so much. Can you please turn that flashlight off? I never put anything on that dog. Here's this table. <laughs> we'll get the chill flashlight on it. Do you want me to turn the tree lights off? No. No, it's fine. That flashlight came 
I hope I didn't make it too sensitive. I was going to say it might be. You may want to turn this TV off. Oh, I Sorry. Okay, so we had flashlight and cat ball activity before the dogs, the dog went crazy. The stairs were going kind of nuts for a second. Yeah. We're sorry. Can you come back and talk to us? We're really sorry if you got scared from the doggy. Can you turn on that flashlight or torch or light, touch one of those balls again for us? Have you met my granddaughter, Nora? Do you know Nora? Show. I have pictures of her. <coughs> At this time, Jen hears the name Nora. She asked if they knew her granddaughter Nora and if they wanted to see a picture of her. However, who they were referring to was Eleonora Sicking, who was married to Herman Sicking and who lived in this house. They called her Nora. Here is a picture of her, her two daughters, and her husband. Well, I say we move to this room over here. Yeah, you guys are very quiet here. Mm -hmm. Where is everything? There's a cat ball in that window and under the tree because light. they light. Light because they like. I was going to they say you like the it. Lights. They <coughs> like the tree. And there's one there on the on the uh, cat ball buffet. Yeah. Rim pot up on top of the buffet. And then there's a cat ball over here. Flashlight's going off right now on the table. Oh, and yeah. that had come on earlier. And then there's some cat balls here. Okay. And there's a flashlight back here. Okay. Right in the door. And Dale, you're able to see in this mirror in case anything. Yeah. I can turn some of these lights off if you want. Christmas lights off. I don't think it's hurting anything. Smoke. Smoke. From the fire. Is there smoke from the fire? The flashlight in the chair is on. Is it? Oh, Thank yes. you. Maybe this was the living room they were referring to. <laughs> was the smoke in the chimney? Turn on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did oh. that one come on too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they both did. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can you turn the be long? Thank you for turning those off. I'm standing in another spot where the floor squeaks. Was the fireplace removed because of the smoke? Can you turn something on if that's why? Mm -hmm. There it is. <coughs> oh my goodness. Is that. Please Somebody's turn that off. Coughing. Please turn that flashlight off. Please turn it off. Please turn the torch off. Okay. Charm voice. Please turn. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and now the other one comes on. <laughs> Being sassy. Mm -hmm. Can you turn on one of those torches if if um, you're making John do that? If you're making John cough, can you turn one of those on? You are? Can you stop? Okay, now I don't know how I got on this screen and I don't know how to get off of it. Are you okay, John? Yeah, I'm fine. Were you married in front of the fireplace? Can you turn something on if you were married? Oh, yeah. There it is. Nice and bright, too. Oh, both of them. Both of them. Taste. Taste. <laughs> Taste. Mm -hmm. Taste. Taste. Can you turn that off? 
Are you Joseph Sky? Remote. Remote. Do you mess with the remote for the battery lights on the tree? Can you, can you turn something on? Turn one of those torches on? If that's a yes. You might not know what remote is. Do you light the candles? Flashlight? Flashlight. Flashlight. Mm -hmm. Can you turn the flashlight off? Do you light the candles after I Rest turn them peace. off? Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> Same I to you. I are resting in peace. Oh, you disrespectful. Oh, sorry. Disrespectful. So I'm sorry. I did not mean to be disrespectful. It wasn't you. Oh. Ask your question again. If you are the one who lights the candles, sure. some, some of the candles, after I've turned them off, will you turn on a light? <laughs> that mind it, This just said sure. Uh -huh. I love that you do that. I find <laughs> it to be very funny. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. <laughs> Her flashlight went off. Mm -hmm. that went on. Did you light candles before? Turn off the light in the chair, please. This one just came off. This one's on. Sassy bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Did you have the Christmas tree on in this room when you were little? Can you turn on one of those torches or light flashlights? If the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Can you turn that on brighter, please? That's turn on. You like playing with the lights. Yeah, turn on really bright. Really bright. You could do it. <laughs> You can do it. So, have you been going around the house and turning on the Christmas lights and the decorations? If you are, if you have been, turn on your flashlight. <laughs> ah, well, I really, I really love that you do that. Jonathan. 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 None. Is that your, is Jonathan your name? None. Two. Two. N O N or N U N? N U N. N U N. There's a nun here. Is your name Jonathan? Can you turn Puzzle. something? Puzzle. Can you turn something on if your name is Jonathan? Yes. Gerald. Gerald. Not. Not. Like tie a knot. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Form. All of a sudden, the apps got really in the flashlights. Okay, turn the torches off, please. I'm getting a strong feeling that there's children in this room. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah. Ill. Ill. The babies earlier. Yeah. They want to turn the, put the candles on on the tree, but they'll catch fire. So they can't have the candles on mm -hmm. on their Christmas tree. Yep. And I had that fire, but yet they turn them on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, these are safe. Did you live here? Turn the light on if you lived here. Please. Did you live in the house on this property before this house? Yes. Mm. Please That's turn that off. Please turn it off. We have some more questions. Can you tell us the name of your, your last name?
That's a dog, I think. Crying? Sure. Hello. <laughs> sure. It was a very high pitched whine. Was if, you, if we if we guess, will you turn on a torch when we guess your name? Chris. Okay, is Chris here? Turn something on if Chris is here. Am I dead? When they ask that. I know. Yes, you are. In the flashlight. In that flashlight. You are. We're sorry. We're sorry that you are, but you are. That we're here. Um, and Sam likes it when you're here with her. I do like it. Where am I? None. And you, N again? Yeah. Okay. Could there have ever been a nun that lived here? No, but you know, that could be a different spelling. Spelling was so different back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, are you one of the Pike children? Zebulon Pike's children? Turn the flashlight on if you are. Are you Table. one of the... Table. Consist. 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 Um, are you a Ludlow child? How about a Vance? Are you a Vance child? Well, I'm not very smart, am I? <laughs> If a flashlight comes on. <laughs> it just flashed. Like, think. My son head. You're pretty smart, aren't you? <laughs> you want to sit at the head of the table? Turn something on. <laughs> yep. Nice and bright. Mm -hmm. That one too. That's one nice. You can sit right here at the head of the table. <laughs> We'll let you sit at the head of the table if you touch one of these shiny balls. Look what happens when you touch them. Look how pretty that is. Flashlight. Flashlight? I need you to turn that on much brighter than that. I want to put a ball there. Um, there's one under the tree. So are you, is your last name Sicky? Turn something on if your last name is Sicking. Grim Pod. Interesting. Which Good. one was that? This big one. Good job. Can you do... Oh, oh, oh very, very bright. Very bright on that one. Yeah. Good wow, job. you are bright. It's so we have Sicking children. Maybe they weren't sick. Maybe they were Sicking. Yeah. Mm. That just gave me. Are you a boy? Please touch something or turn something on if you're a boy. A male, a man, a boy. Are you a John? Ashley? I didn't it said Jonathan before or mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, I did. And we it in was, here and did I say ask? Mm -hmm. Yeah. His John's upstairs too. They kept saying John upstairs. Mm -hmm. Are there any girls in this room? If there are any girls in this room, turn something on, please. Flashlight. Okay. Thank you. Can you go near that shiny red light over there and touch it again? That was great. Can you turn? Thank you. This thing probably went to sleep, didn't it? No. Oh, no. 
Wow. Oh, that she was making it. Yeah. Lay. Lay. So, are there two of you in here? Oh, it's on already. <laughs> Can you turn the flashlight off? Please? He likes the lights. Mm hmm. You have to give him a whole bag of cat toys. That's the easiest way we always get. Are there two the of you here? If there is, turn the lock. Touch the ball. Two. Zoo. Oh, zoo. Zoo. Mine did too. <laughs> Mine said two earlier. Yeah, his said two earlier. Well, do your count and tell them. Okay, we're going to count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to count. <coughs> turn it off. Please turn it off. I need to count first. And tell them to turn that one on. And when I get to the number... Grandmother. Uh, that came through earlier, too. When I get to the number of children in this room... Little boys and girls, I need you to turn the flashlight or the torch that's on the table on. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Are there more than five? Turn that flashlight on on the table if there's more than five. You're not playing the game with me, are you? Can you count? Do you know your numbers? That's a good question. If you know your numbers, turn the flashlight on. Devil. No. <laughs> Is that what grandmother called you was a little <laughs> devil? <laughs> Doctor. Doctor. Go. Where do you want me to go? Doctor. To the doctor? Do you need to go to the doctor? Are you sitting in that chair? If you are, turn the flashlight on. Sure. <laughs> she keeps saying sure tonight. Hmm. Are you tired? You guys did really good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Really good job. Everybody here knows this, but you guys, the glass in the cabinets mm -hmm. are the original glass that was in the windows of the house. Oh, wow. So it's, that's one reason it's got the spirit of the house in it. It's the wavy glass. Uh -huh. And then you see the little copper designs the pools, um, so you know what I'm talking about. See these? Uh -huh. These are also in the island and in the china cabinet. Mm -hmm. Those were the original window pools. They were called East Lake window pools, and those were in all the windows, and I pulled them out because I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but I asked the kitchen designer to put it, mix them in with the cabinets. Wow. So I really feel like this, the spirit of the house was in here. Yes. So that's why I wanted to make sure we came in here tonight. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Love it. Ready? Yep. Okay, I see one flashlight over here. Where's the other one? There's one over the stove. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Now, is there too much light in here? Probably so. Okay. Jim hates it when I turn these off. <laughs> Sometimes they don't want to come back on. So, oh, that's weird. But we're doing important business. We are. All right. Okay. Is there anybody in this kitchen? My name is Stephanie. I'm here with <coughs> Dale, Christine, John, Jenny, and you of course know Sam. If there's anybody in here that wants to talk to us, can you turn something on, light something up, even if we didn't bring it? 
There is a doggy upstairs crying. I'm going to move. I'm going to get up and move, and you sit in the chair. You're sitting on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> I I just feel like this flashlight up here is the one that's going to come on. I'm not sure why, but I feel like that one up there is the one that's going to come on. I want to put a cap ball in that chair you were sitting in, Jenny. Okay. Let me just stand by Sam, too. <laughs> I don't protect any monsters. <laughs> You know, if you flip that switch up there, you can turn that light. It's not. Turn that light off and right back. Okay, now if you're sitting in this chair, you can touch that ball and let us go. That was weird. That was really weird. Maybe somebody doesn't want to the The K2 is lighting up. Oh, yeah, it is. Dale, I have the K2 right here. Georgie. Georgie, and it was lighting up, going crazy. Georgie? Georgie. Georgie, do you have lilies? I smell lilies in here quite often. Do you? Mm -hmm. Cousin. 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 Is it Augustus who, who grows the lilies? It's crazy. That K2 just mm -hmm. went crazy. I wish you could have got that, Dale. Right when the camera fell. Mm -hmm. Is that the one with the thermometer on it? No, the other one. It lit up to... It was nice and yellow. Yeah, up to yellow. Carl, Billy. What year is it? Carl and Billy. What year it is? And what year is it? It's 2022. Why? Because Flashlight it's... right behind you. Oh, hello. Thank you. I was wrong. Can you turn that off? Oh, and the K2. Yeah. It's going crazy. What's that? That's this. It just oh, and that was going crazy. So, what is your name? Is your name, what did it say, Billy? And Carl. And Georgie. Okay. If there's, if Billy's here, can you turn something on? Is Georgie here? Can you turn something on? <coughs> How about Carl? So we had two EMF meters going at the same time and the flashlight. Mm -hmm. Is Anna, Anna here? What happened? <laughs> what is that? Um, the EMF meters, okay. those, um, just let us know. They kind of pick up on your energy and kind of let us know you're here. Yeah, nothing will hurt you. <laughs> right, it's all good. Carl. Carl again. Carl again. Okay. And that flashlight over the stove. Over the stove? Yes! <laughs> I knew the flashlight over the stove was going to come on. Thank you! Can you turn that off, please? Thank you. Um, flashlight here. Flashlight there. Now they're getting all... They're getting comfortable. Yep. Does Carl work here? Did Carl bring you some wood? Can you turn something <coughs> on? Demand. Demand. Demise. I thought it said demise. Demand. He sounds all fancy when he talks. I think John's dying. <laughs> I need to get him more water. What in the world went through?
through there that set both of those in. I don't know, yeah, but so. it certainly did. Flashlight. Flashlight. Uh -huh. it certainly did. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is that is that a yes? Did are you saying yes, you were on a stagecoach? Remember the pic photograph of the kids on the pony out in front of the house? Cook. Those are the cooks. Cook kids. Hobbies. Hobbies. I'm still trying to find out if there was a way station here. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Did you ride a pony? Ow, oh, that was my ankle. Flashlight? Flashlight. Swim. <laughs> oh, okay. so they rode a pony. Mm -hmm. Are you um, some of the cook nieces, nephews, children? Turn something on if you are. What was the pony's name? Duke? Do you know what year you were here? Turn something on for yes. Flashlight. Thank you. Was it? Can you please turn it off? Was it 1940s? It was the 1920s. Something the weirdest thing. We all know hot flashes, don't we? But I'm getting a half a hot flash. Just on one side. Yeah. <coughs> and tingle hair. And I'm not going to say like I did at the <laughs> restaurant, but the same tingle hair. Yeah. <laughs> Was, were you here in the 1920s? Pink. Pink? Was that mine? Oh, um, the yeah. meter. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, it said pink. Dale, can you see that? From yeah, uh huh. Okay, cool. Those meters are when somebody. Can I hold you? We give you something to eat. Flashlight. 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 Very bright. Yesterday. Yesterday. So my hands are tingling. <laughs> Buried. Buried? Who are you holding? He wants me to sit and hold him. Okay. You want to sit here? Let me sit. Georgie? Georgie, you want to sit on my lap? Come here. Liar. Liar. <gasps> well, that wasn't very nice. Mm -mm. I'll hold you. I know I don't want to hold you, but I will. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think we're going to say good night. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. That was awesome. <laughs> Hey lovelies, that wraps up another episode of the Gut Spooky Society here in historic Greendale, Indiana. We are so blessed to be able to do what we do and get to explore and see the places we do and meet the people that we get to meet. If you're new here, welcome. We love all of our subscribers. And if you haven't, smash the subscribe button, give us a huge thumbs up, like, comment, share. Everything you do for free helps our channel for free. And until next time, Dale, stay, stay spooky. spooky.